Fan Showdown, Season 2, Episode 6, The Imposter. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, develop existing interests, or get lost in creativity. One class that I've been looking at is DIY Product Photography, Style and Shoot Creative Skills with Rachel and Daniel. As somebody that does product reviews on my YouTube channel from time to time, it's always good to know how to better take photos and videos of the products I'm talking about so they communicate better to my audience. If you're uncertain about what's next, creative challenges and productivity classes can be a great way to help you structure your time and set up achievement goals. At a time when so many important conversations are happening around the world, your voice is more essential than ever. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. Connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. Whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join a similarly creative community, Skillshare is the place to keep you learning. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium, and after that, it's only $10 a month. So thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, and make sure to check the link in the description below. Now, the reason I called this episode The Imposters is because all of these fans uh, are masquerading as other objects while trying to also be fans. So, well, I guess all of them except for like one, but I guess you could say that it was like an actual fan pretending to be a centrifugal fan, so I don't know. Regardless, let's start with that one. Let's start with the exception to the rule this week. And this fan is the Smooth Centrifugal by Nicholas. Nicholas didn't give me an origin story. Uh, he just said that after seeing the fan showdown, he just couldn't stop designing fans. And this was his latest iteration. So it appears that he's trying to go for some sort of two-stage fan here where you got like the top portion as a centrifugal fan and then the bottom is like an axial fan. And he's trying to get them to like work in harmony to become some sort of hybrid. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna work, but I do like the thought experiment. But let's move on to the first imposter of this week, and that would be the Patrick. It was created by Travis, and the inspiration behind this design was the velocity stack used on some old Le Mans race cars. And from what he said, that there was actually a velocity stack made for Le Mans race cars that was called the Patrick. I couldn't find it on the old Google, but uh, I believe him. Now, the interesting thing is that he's taking something that's meant or designed to be stationary, uh, putting blades in the inside of it, and I'm going to spin it all about. I don't know if it'll work, but again, thought experiment. I mean, it should work. It's just essentially, it's just like a normal fan, just stretched like height wise. But he did say that he, sh he showed his, uh, his model or his 3D design to one of his friends and his friends like, that looks kind of like a starfish uh, waving. So we're not off to a good start. <laughs> now, if you couldn't guess what this fan was, don't worry, it only gets easier from here. You shouldn't have any issues figuring out what these next two fans are. Uh, pretty straightforward. I mean, Take a look at this one, for example. It's called the Hoo Hoo, and it was designed by Josh. And if there's anybody out there that doesn't know what uh, the Hoo Hoo is trying to be, uh, I don't know what to say. Take a guess. Did you say, did you say bird? Because you might be right. Josh said the inspiration behind the Hoo Hoo was uh, a certain nocturnal bird's wing. Uh, the bird that I think he was referring to is the North Island brown kiwi, but uh, could also have been an owl, I guess. I don't, what do you think? Now, Josh did a pretty good job of modeling a wing into a fan. I mean, even if you didn't have a clue of what he, like, if he, if he said nothing with his message, you can look at this fan and be like, oh, look, those are little, uh, little bird wings. Now, Josh did say he's hoping that using the owl wing, he's, he's trying to get this fan to be quiet because we all know that owls are known for flying very quietly. So hopefully that'll translate into, into the fan world. But either way, I like it. Now this last one's, it's a bit, it's a bit abstract. Uh, I actually brought an analog for you guys to look at so we can kind of compare it, try to figure out what he was going for, but just take a look. Who out there knows what this is? <laughs> this, this is what we're comparing it to. The resemblance is uh, uncanny. <laughs> Put this away. Now, I, I could just tell you what this fan's called, what the inspiration was behind it, uh, but I'm sure you already know what the inspiration was. And I think the designer did a much better job than I can, so I'll just read you what he, what he sent me. First off, this was created by Eberhard, uh, and he said, quote, May I present to you the absolute marvel of German engineering, the Schaufelflehe, or shovel fan. The Schaufelflehe 
concentrates on the underlying purpose a fan truly has, digging the air. What comes to mind when you think about digging? Right, a shovel. Combining the bleeding edge of gardening technology with the Teutonic pragmatism and efficiency of German fan design, the shovel fan will surely rise to the top of the fan showdown ladder and will most likely stay there. End quote. Uh -huh. Now, if we were solely judging on the merit of that description, first place, uh, hands down, there would be no question. Also, I do apologize to anybody out there who speaks German or is in German watching this because I'm sure my pronunciations were spot on uh, and there's nothing absolutely at all wrong with them. <laughs> I took German three years in high school. I just don't remember any of it and it was like forever ago. So yeah, now I have no idea if a, if a shovel fan will work, but it's just one of those things you like, I open up the fan showdown, I download like an STL file and I look at the preview window and I'm just like, <laughs> Gotta try it. And that was, that's basically what the shovel fan is. But right, let's just, let's see. Let's see how it did. In the noise department, the shovel fan came in at 47.7 dBA. The hoo hoo came in at 49.3, answering the uh, age old question of what's quieter, a shovel or an owl? The smooth centrifugal came in at 49.6. And the Patrick was a bit strange. It came in at 50.9, but a lot of the sound uh, is like a buffeting sound. Uh, this design created a lot of turbulent airflow around the intake and the sides. So keep that in mind or keep that buffeting you heard in mind as we watch the, uh, the smoke test because it starts, you can kind of start to see what's, uh, what's going on. I don't know about you guys, but I found that like absolutely fascinating. The, just watching the Patrick and the smoke test, you can see that if the smoke stream in the middle is pretty stable, it gets pushed through the fan, but towards the edges, things get all crazy. You get a bunch of eddies forming. Uh, turbulence uh, is what this thing should be called. But they were all able to cool at least a little bit, so let's find out uh, how well they did. The Hoo Hoo came in with an average temperature of 77.6 at a room temperature of 20.5, giving it a delta of 57.1. The Shovel Fan came in with an average temperature of 77.2 at a room temperature of 20.7, giving it a delta of 56.5.
The smooth centrifugal came in with an average temperature of 85.9 at a room temperature of 20.7, giving it a delta of 65.2. The Patrick came in with an average temperature of 79 at a room temperature of 20.7, giving it a delta of 58.3. So, in this group, the shovel fan came first, followed by the hoo-hoo in second, Patrick in third, and the smooth centrifugal in fourth. Also, the old shovel fan it actually placed third overall when we look at all the other scores. So that means that the shovel fan, she's going to the board. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have, have, have shovel? Been a while since we changed the board, but there you go. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to get involved in the old fan showdown, uh, I'll link a video in the description below that I made that kind of gives you an idea of everything you need to do to submit me a fan. Uh, dimensions, where to send the model, what kind of model I need, yada, 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 all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter if you want to come and hang out, want to chat, uh, and just have a good time. Get out there and make something weird. Until next time.